Hi guys! Quite often I receive questions about leaning the bike. Specifically, how to overcome fear when leaning a lot. Big lean angles indeed can be intimidating. But there are some ways to overcome the fear and make yourself pretty comfortable when leaning the bike, even on pretty steep lean angles. We'll go with a pretty straightforward method by doing a special exercise for lean angles. It'll allow us go from this state to this in several steps. It doesn't take very long time, any rider can do it. Let me show you what we need to do. But first, very important safety reminder. To practice lean angles, please use full protective gear – boots, gloves, knees, hips, elbows and shoulders. Please don't practice in flip-flops and t-shirts, ok? And another important thing is before practicing big lean angles, make sure you are very confident with slow speed exercises like circles, figure eights, etc. It is important because we'll need skills like throttle control, proper vision and counter steering. This stuff we develop with slow speed exercises. By the way, a lot of those exercises you can see on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe. And check out my new video course for beginner riders. It has the most important basic exercises as well. At first, to stop fearing big lean angles, we need to understand that they are possible to do, at least in theory. On modern road tires our bike can lean quite a lot, without any problem. For example, on my bike I have Pirelli Sport Demon tires, which despite the sport in the name, are really just normal road tires, nothing fancy. And today I show everything on normal piece of asphalt, with some sandy and oily patches here and there. I don't mean you need to practice on crappy tires and pavement. I just want to show you that I don't use any super fancy stuff and equipment. Pretty much anyone can lean the bike really far. For example, as you can see, my bike leans up to the foot pegs quite easily. And I can lean it even more if I remove the foot from the foot peg and let it fold a little. And vast majority of road bikes can do it as well. On most bikes, if we look closely at the foot pegs, we can see small replaceable sliders like this. Bike manufacturers put them on foot pegs intentionally. They are meant to be grinded against the pavement and then being replaced. So, if the engineers of our bike have such a big faith in us, let's not disappoint them and learn how to lean. For practicing, we built a big circle. For little bikes with high ground clearance, we can make smaller circles, roughly 30-32 feet in diameter. For bigger bikes like BMW GS, we'll need bigger circle, like 38-40, maybe 42 feet in diameter. For dreadnoughts like Goldwings, we will want about 50 feet. Generally, the longer and the lower the bike, the bigger circle we need. Now we enter the circle at comfortable speed and start doing circles. For now, we don't even bother with lean angles. Our primary goal is to maintain the steady throttle without jerking it and use our vision in the right way. Don't look down and don't look directly at the cones. We need to keep our head leveled and turned a lot. And we need to look pretty far. At the cones we look with our peripheral vision. We don't stare at them directly. Now, when we start feeling comfortable inside the circle at the speed, we start going a little bit faster. The faster we go in the circle, the more the lean angle will be. Don't hurry, increase the speed little by little, don't try to achieve a big lean angle right away. Our primary goal is still to maintain steady throttle, loosen relaxed arms and correct vision technique. If you are starting to feel a bit uncomfortable, you are tensing up and you feel like you are starting to stare at the cones, stop increasing your speed and work on your arms, vision and throttle until you become comfortable again. A little trick to increase the confidence, which I often use with my students, is that when leaning, we can use our boot sort of like a measuring gauge to understand how much we are leaning at the moment. It looks like this. We are dangling our foot from the foot back just a tiny bit, 
and lightly trying to find how far the asphalt is below the foot peg. Notice that we do it just for training purpose at this exercise. Normally we don't dangle our feet. And if you want to try this trick, obviously be sure to dangle your foot just a little amount and be very careful, don't just shove it under the foot peg. And slide it against the asphalt very very lightly, don't put any weight on it. Sometimes this trick helps a lot. When a student thinks he already leans very far, then he finds where the pavement is and realizes that he has a lot of lean angle left. So, once you feel comfortable again, increase your speed little by little. If you don't rush it and take your time, you will soon start to touch the foot pegs and feel pretty confident while doing it. It doesn't mean you need to lean this far in each and every corner. No, on the street you don't need that. But if you become confident with these lean angles on a parking lot, normal lean angles on the street will be a breeze. Ok, I hope this exercise was useful. If it was, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. And also, check out my new beginner rider video course. Thank you for watching. Bye.